of the CIFIDS project is to gather data from the inshore fishing sector with the assistance of the inshore fishers themselves using really low cost technologies and what we call open source technologies. The reason that we have focused on the under 12 meter uh, fleet within Scotland is because that fleet has very little data. There are significant opportunities to improve on this data by using um, vessels to, to collect data while they're about their, their daily business of fishing. The benefit of having active fishing vessels participating in data collection is that they provide a good representation of what's happening, data collection on, on what's being discarded back into the sea, for example, the live returns. So having active fishermen collecting the data means that you're, you're getting absolutely the, the correct information on their fisheries of further areas. I think vessel tracking's coming, and I think the sooner the better, really, for, for a lot of reasons for us. Locally, we're looking at managing our fishery differently, and in order to make it work, we really need the vessels to be fitted with tracking systems. So try to find the right tracking system was a, a great opportunity for us, really. Track information is vital, particularly when uh, fishermen need to defend uh, their right to fish in a particular location, uh, and also to provide evidence of where they fish um, over time. It could also help in, in gear conflict, uh, management of MPAs, quite a few areas really where, where knowing exactly when the gear is going in and out of the water would be far more beneficial and probably even knowing where the boat is the rest of the time. So I think for us the, the future of vessel tracking is vessel tracking and gear tracking really. The whole idea has been to have an integrated system. The idea is that we can track a vessel, get an accurate time and position for that vessel, that we can record how much gear is going into the water, when that gear comes out and how much gear there is there. And also then for a small proportion of the vessels to be able to collect data that we can then feed into stock assessments. An important part of that is the use of a mobile app which allows the Fish One form data to be recorded and for us to pick that up and then match that to track information. Normally I would have a diary on the boat and write everything down, days of fish, what gear I've pulled and the app stores it all for me, makes it a bit easier and it's less paperwork at the end of the week. What the CIFIDS project is showing us is that we don't necessarily need to gather the same information from all vessels. It looks like probably all we need from the majority of vessels is simply some track information of the right resolution. However, for some sectors of the fleet, maybe working in say marine protected areas or other sensitive areas, it may be that we need to gather additional data to verify that fishing is taking place and, it, and that fishing is being compliant. My own personal opinion is that stocks are in danger in, certain, in many areas and we need evidence, we need information to act upon. Without that information we're, we're blind. And so quite a unique piece of equipment was developed which allows us to use a laser scanner to be able to scan lobsters and crabs to be able to identify their species, sex and size very rapidly. It's shown what the catches are and how much small stuff's on the ground and going back over the side, that's a, that's a good thing to see. The fisheries management for inshore boats is quite difficult because we're very small and we don't have a tremendous amount of money and the boats themselves are physically quite tiny. The CIVIS project on the other hand is looking at smaller, simpler bits of kit that do work for our industry. I really see the future as being one where fishermen can have these techniques on board and can be deploying them on a regular basis with very little impact to their actual day job in the fisheries. Local fishermen have been absolutely pivotal to the CIFIDS project. It's only through the engagement of fishermen, letting us use their boats, having observers on those boats, and allowing us to put equipment on their vessels and to share their data with us, that we've been able to develop the models, systems, processes that we need to be able to demonstrate that these low-cost open source technologies can actually work in the real world.